Dark Elves, Deep Elves, The Ones Who Went Below, Night Elves, Dirt Elves, The Dark Reflection, Slim Dwarves, Doak Elfar, Underscum. Let's talk about Drow. Drow is a unique name for a very non-unique race in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. It's something that Gygax made up in the early days as a means of creating a horrible race to pit humanity and elves against. And if I may misquote a famous line from the development meetings, Hey, what if we, like, have them fight elves, but, you know, super evil? And boom! Drow were forever forged in the annals of D&D. There's a lot of speculation that the name actually came from a misrepresentation of the word trow in uh, Scott mythology, meaning trolls, which you can come back to Dok Elfar from Dark Elves in Norse mythology, which could also be a miscommunication for dwarves, but that's a completely other episode. The point being, even though the drow kind of existed throughout mythology, they were specifically designed for D&D to be bad guys. Living in the Underdark, uh, which for those of you out there that aren't D&D nerds, uh, the terminology basically means a fancy way of saying that they're part mole people. Mole elves, if you will. Melves. Dark melves. That's what they should have been called. Maybe damels. Drows. Probably fine. They were elves, but then they split off seeking safety and sanctuary in the deep underdark and are now basically elves, but more OP and for some reason have still all the hella sexy stuff. I'm not sure if they're as promiscuous as their forest or high elf counterparts, but, you know, I've never met a drow I didn't like. I'm looking at you, Essek. A wink. Thank you, Matthew Mercer. Back to the gameplay. They get all the sweet stuff that elves do. Bonuses to decks, weak constitution, basically free magic abilities, dark vision. Did that say free magic abilities? No, sorry, magic resistance. Wait, no, they get both. How is this even a legal race? Okay, let's take it back a step. Something that's very important to know is that drow started out as monsters. And as things go and the monsters found and the tomes of awesomeness that are the monster manuals tend to get a bit of a buff to make sure that the game is more challenging for players, and I love finding ways to work around that to make unique characters, but sons of Saren Ray, what the holy heck happened with the drow? I know Dritz came along and everyone was like, see, drow can be good guys, we should all make them dark brooding hot boys and girls. But it seems like someone just took the stats right out of the monster manual and just slapped it into the player's guide. I mean, they not only have spell immunity, but they also have spell resistance. And while that immunity is only to sleep in some magical effects, the spell resistance just kind of is globally worthwhile. I mean, you might as well just fireball yourself and blow up the whole goddamn army and just walk away fine. My point being that they are really, really strong. And back to my previous rant, they do indeed get free spells. Not just the once per day you can spit acid and because your papa was a giant lizard, but honest to goodness spells. Light, darkness, dancing lights, fairy flippin' fire. You can fight me in the comments if you want, that's a good spell. And on top of all that, if you're playing Pathfinder, some of their racial traits and feats are just... Hey, what if you wanted to fly all the time? Because why not? And if you're looking for a character that is somehow innately entwined with magic, this is a really cool way to do that. They are strong with magic and they are also immune to it. And it makes sense from a thematic standpoint. So I'm not saying that they're too strong to play. You just have to be very careful about it. They are really fun to play and build because there's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Barbarians that can levitate themselves or throw themselves into combat, quite literally, it is interesting. Maybe you could be a blind monk and just walk around with an aura of darkness on top of yourself nonstop. You know, like that one guy from that anime. That, that one anime. No, the other one. But all those things can be really hard on a DM if you're not expecting it. But there must be drawbacks, you say. You're really good at balancing out those drawbacks. Well, yeah, so they're usually evil, which is, you know, the go-to, but that doesn't have to be. Like, we already talked about Dritz, the, the beloved D&D character. And honestly, that really just, once again, makes it harder to DM if you're playing an evil character. And there are fun ones. I mean, they have light sensitivity, which is kind of awesome, because they're blinded by the sun or really bright light spells, which makes fighting a cleric really funny. But the downside to that being, you can negate that with a pair of sunglasses and a hat. The drow will never take the surface. Ah, oh, shit, they're wearing sun hats. Run for your lives! Uh, but we have had some really fun battles between paladins and drow just constantly casting light at each other. They are a very strong race, particularly because they are a monster race, and they mesh really easily into those kinds of parties. They are great antagonists because there is something very familiar about them, but evil. So they have their benefits for new players, but it's something that can easily get overwhelmed for new DMs. If your players really want to be a drow, but you're not sure what to do about their spells and immunities and spell resistance and crazy shit... Just skin an elf. That didn't come out quite the way I had intended. Just reskin it. I mean, not the elf that you just skin. Just use the regular elf as the template and then put the drow flavor on top. What the hell is a drow flavor? Maybe they eat under ramen for dinner. 
Alternatively, you could go the complete opposite direction, use the Pathfinder rules for the Drow Noble, give them plus two to every stat, burn their feats to get unlimited magic, and uh, just watch them command armies of mole people against the surface. Let's be honest, most of the murder hobo parties out there were going to do that regardless of what race they picked. So just have fun with it. Talk to your DM and uh, roll up a drow. Just always remember to keep your dice on the table, where everyone can see them. Because we all know drows are cheaters. If you have a cool drow story or you just want to talk about your race or class, Drop it in the comments below. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. As always, a comment, a like, and a subscribe helps us help blah, 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 blah. As always, a comment, a like, and a subscribe helps us out a bunch so we can keep making these great videos. Share them with your friends. Share them with your DM parties. Your DM parties? Is that a thing we can do? A party of just DMs. Mm. Until next time.